Number 18, letter A. By what factor must you change the distance between two point charges to change the force between them by a factor of 10? All right. So basically, um, we're talking about charge forces between charges, so we know we're dealing with the electrostatic force formula. That the force of attraction or repulsion between two charged objects is going to equal the electrostatic constant K multiplied by the product between those two charges. All right, and take the absolute value there, and then divide it by the distance between them squared. So we have to figure out by what factor must you change the distance value so that the force of them changes by a factor of 10. All right, now I could show you with ratios here, but honestly, this is just easier thinking about it this way. Plug in the factor for force. This thing stays constant, so just plug in a one there and divide it now by R squared. Simply solve this thing for R. All right, so R squared cross multiplies one over 10. We simply take the square root and R will be equal to now, R will be equal to, we can find the uh, ratio, so if one divided by 10, it's about 0. Uh, 0.316, yeah, that's good, to one, okay? So it says, so basically what we realize is that in order to increase, so what this is telling us is in order to increase the force by 10 times, right, or change, essentially, change the force by 10 times, we're going to have to uh, manipulate the distance and specifically now actually what if I between the point to, between yeah factor 10 so sorry about that I just want to re, uh, reread the question so if I want to increase the force by 10 right I'm going to have to then reduce the distance between them to about 30 percent or so 0. 0.316 of its original value all right so let's just assume that there's a certain for let's assume that these are separated by one meter and the force between them is going to be 10 all right I know now that if I reduce this distance now down to let's say 0 0.316 meters that the or actually let me do it this way I, I can leave that as 10 I was gonna do it as 1 and 10 but you you can definitely leave this as 10 I should I would rather show it as 1 if we reduce now the distance between them the force value should increase to now be 10 all right the charges stayed the same or whatever. So if you did the ratio, if you did the, um, if you were to plug this in for the distance, right? Since it's, so watch, plug it, plug that in, 0 0.316 and then square it. What do you get? Basically 0 0.1, right? But that's 0.1 in the denominator. So when you do a value divided by point, uh, excuse me, point, uh, 0.01, no, sorry, 0 0.1, what am I talking about? 0 0.1, this goes up by a factor of 10. So if you were to do the math there, it, it should all uh, kind of make sense. And then um, it says letter B, what does this say? Explain how the distance can either increase or decrease by this factor and still cause a factor of 10 change uh, to the force. So if we were to, you know, lengthen now, we can think about lengthening. Instead of shortening it, we could have lengthened the distance by essentially the reciprocal of this uh, change, all right? And if we were to find that, we would have noticed that they would have been the same. So I did don't, I don't, that's good enough. All right, guys, so thanks enough. Uh, thanks enough. Thanks a lot. Thanks enough. That's enough. This is enough. I'm going to finish now. Take care, guys. Bye.